Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today we are going to take a look at the new lists for Microsoft Teams. Um, there are quite a few presets that they've actually uh, put in to help you guys uh, get started with this. And we're just going to go through what some of those look like and also how to create your own custom list for Microsoft Teams. If you find this video useful, you know what to do. And with all that said, let's jump on over to Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here I am just within my um, general channel in the supply chain team. Um, and this is where I do most of my tests, as most of you will probably be familiar. Um, so in order to actually go about adding uh, one of these lists into um, your Microsoft Teams, um, it's important to just know what this actually is doing. Um, in essence, a list in Microsoft Teams is the same or has the same kind of functionality that you get from a SharePoint list. The main exception is actually makes it easier to manage from Microsoft Teams than trying to embed a SharePoint list. Now, you cannot add a team as an app over here on the right hand side. Instead, you add them into a channel within your team, right? So I'll add one into the general channel. Um, you can add them into the meetings channel here or the test channel one, test channel two, for example. And they become tabs across the very top of your channel. Um, so to get started, what we're going to do is just head over to this little plus icon at the top of your channel. We'll give that a click. Um, and what you'll notice um, is it, you know, it, it may be here. So as you can see, I have uh, lists just here. If you do not see it, you can just type in lists and you can see that this is the icon for the new application. So what we can do is just give that a quick click. Um, and then this is going to kind of go through a, um, a process of just adding this in to your channel, right? So um, it says here, select save to finish adding it into the list to the channel. So we're just going to save it. And then we've added a list into the channel. Then this will start the process of the, the creation wizard. Um, and we'll go through various different steps into adding this into the channel. So you can obviously create one from scratch uh, and this will allow you to create all the custom columns in your list uh, as you need. Or they do um, have existing uh, uh, templates to use. So what we do is we just click on this, um, this list here. Uh, actually, these are pre-existing lists I've created. Uh, let me come back out and go back in to lists here. Um, right, so if we create a new list, there we go. So um, other way around. Uh, so basically creating a new list um, it lets you create one from a blank list. Uh, a blank list. You can select all the columns, uh, import some kind of list from Excel directly or from an existing SharePoint list, and you can kind of embed it all and create a new list that way. Um, alternatively, um, Microsoft Teams have some templates available. So you can see you have an issue tracker, uh, employee onboarding, uh, event inventory, um, uh, sorry, itinerary, uh, an asset manager. Um, so if you, uh, let's say, have a series of uh, iPads within the business and uh, you want to keep track of who has what iPad, then you could do it this way um, via that list and you can transfer the ownership. Um, there's a recruitment tracker, uh, travel requests, uh, work progress tracker. So if you wanted to assign tasks to individuals and then mark it when it was complete, um, you can do that in there here as well. Uh, a content scheduler, so you can content uh, schedule your content uh, via the list as well, so you can understand what each editor is doing and where they are within their progress uh, processes. And um, there's incidents, uh, patients, um, and you can even manage loans through these lists. Now, these are just a few templates, um, and again, you could even start just from a blank list, um, as I said before. So it all kind of depends on what you're trying to um, achieve out of. Uh, you know, the list itself. So if we just take a look at some of these and it kind of when you load them up, it gives you an example of what this looks like. Um, so here you can see this issue tracker, you can have the issue, the description of the issue, and then you can obviously give it priority um, where it is in progress, uh, if it's completed, who's actually been assigned um, the issue to resolve it, the date it was reported, how many days old that is, um, the issue source, uh, and again, you can start with one of these as um, a base level and then actually add 
and adjust the columns as needed um, and see who is logged by, right? So that's your uh, issue tracker there. The employee onboarding, uh, again, you know, you have all of these columns here. Uh, so the work description completed by completed question mark, right? Um, so, you know, um, complete by, so, you know, before joining that has to be done on the first day that has to be done week one and so forth, right? So you can kind of manage the onboarding process of an employee, um, who's the mentor and, and any other relevant links, right? So you can kind of track everything in Microsoft Teams, which is really useful. Um, if we look at events and uh, then obviously you can see, uh, you know, what's going on here and um, the capacity of the event, uh, the location, the notes, etc. And you can kind of get an idea of what's going on, right? So you can manage things uh, more efficiently. Um, the asset manager, as I said before, if we had a bunch of iPads and um, we wanted to know what was available, what's in use, what's uh, being repaired, um, everything about it in essence, right? So, you know, who's the current owner, who was the previous owner, and what was the purchase price, um, the order numbers, and you know, even right down to uh, location. As soon as it's assigned to a user, you can get a lot of other data out of uh, Microsoft about that user as well. So you could even pinpoint um, assets by, uh, you know, organizational charts, which department has which assets and stuff like that. And, you know, you can do various different things. So that's quite a useful one to, to kind of get your head around. Um, likewise, recruitment tracker, so the candidate names, the positions, you know, active, um, offer, sent, uh, on hold, blah, 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 you know, so you can manage quite a lot um, of information via these lists that are uh, very useful. And I've been starting to use lists quite heavily in uh, some of the work that I do um, to basically gather data back into the SharePoint ecosystem. Um, so that you can then start to analyze it a lot more efficiently um, uh, using things like Power BI, for example. So these lists, um, everything is integrated uh, and then you can start to um, pull the data directly out into Excel if you wanted to um, and so forth. So this one here, for example, was really useful. Um, so anyone who's using things like Microsoft Planner um, to manage tasks uh, or to-do list, and actually, you know, this might be also something that you might want to do uh, as an alternative, where it lets you kind of assign tasks to people, um, give it a start date, a due date, etc., and then start monitoring how that progress is happening. Um, you know, so there's lots of different things that you can do with lists, um, and it's quite exciting to see the various different um, things that Microsoft is suggesting. You know, initial set of templates to use. Um, and how to, you know, you might want to take some of these and expand upon them, make them um, really powerful for your own organization or work, etc. So um, very, very useful stuff here. So the content manager, again, just kind of lets you track progress of content potentially going out and when it's due by. Um, very good stuff. So incidents, uh, again, you know, um, you can track everything like this. Um, so if you work in customer service, for example, and you wanted to start tracking um, complaints, etc., then actually, you know, a lot of people might use other applications like Zendesk or something similar to basically track um, complaints and stuff. And actually, you might even be able to utilize something like a, a Teams list um, to actually track things like complaints for customer service. And then it keeps everything inside um, the ecosystem for then analysis in something like Power BI at a later date, um, which is something that I'm looking at also doing is moving away from something like Zendesk in preference of the lists here, just to make sure that everyone um, has complete transparency of what's happening inside the business. So there's lots of functionality around these. So like I say, I'm not going to go too much into the detail of these. I'm just going to um, choose this one, the work progress tracker as an example, and then just click on the use template. And what this will do is it will actually create um, the list for this particular team, right? So here I'm just going to call this a work progress tracker. I'm not going to do too much about it. You can choose different colors. Um, so I'm going to go with green um, and then I'm going to give it a check, uh, like a little checkerboard here, um, a list as an icon. And then I'm going to click create. This will go ahead and create me 
um, that template and here we go. So now I can see that I have all of the various columns that were in that template. Um, and again, I can add more if needs be. If I scroll over here to the right hand side, I can add additional columns as needed. Um, but for this example, I won't. I'll just stick to what we have here. Now, the first thing that you'll notice on the left hand side is the ability to add a new item. And then next to that is the edit in grid view and then an ellipses just here. The ellipses lets you basically export this directly to Excel if you ever needed to, or open it in SharePoint if you prefer, but personally, I think um, that's something that you wouldn't necessarily do unless you're a big fan of SharePoint's um, layouts, etc. I much prefer this view. Um, and over here, you can actually customize uh, views as well. So there's lots of things you can do there. But if we just click on um, add a new item, this will load up this screen here. So unlike SharePoint, where you're kind of adding things in uh, like left to right or from top to bottom in a long list, uh, this new structure here kind of makes it a little bit easier, keeps everything in the main screen, uh, easy to access, easy to see. Um, so, and you can literally just work through uh, each of these fields as needed. So we can um, go ahead and type test here, give it a test description here. Um, we can give it a category. Um, so we can call this uh, research. Um, we can say that this research is in progress. Um, we can say it's uh, a high priority. Um, we can give it a start date, um, which will be today and we can give it an end date of tomorrow. And we can assign this by an email address or a name. So I'm just going to type Nick Regan. Uh, there I am. Um, I'm going to add notes and I can add attachments and the attachments directly from SharePoint. So if you were to um, want to upload PDFs into this, then everything, every, everybody who sees this list and this item can see those attachments and you get that transparency, which is what I really like. But once you've filled it in, all you do is click save. Um, and now it will appear inside uh, the list just here. And again, you've got lots of different options at this point. You can filter this in ascending or descending order by any of these columns, okay? And you can filter as well. So you can apply filters as needed. So you can um, always see whatever you are looking for within your lists. Um, and it's just generally a really powerful way um, to manage um, a whole host of different things in Microsoft Teams. And one thing that you'll see that is really common um, with the development of Microsoft Teams is how everything is channeling through um, Microsoft Teams into other applications, kind of touching on that fluid framework a little bit where you know you're, everything is kind of interconnected together. Um, but hopefully guys, this is a, a very good top level um, introductory t uh, tutorial, I guess, on how you would go about adding a list into a uh, team channel, how you to go about looking at the templates, um, and if you wanted to, you could even set up a completely custom list as well. Um, hopefully you guys found this useful. Um, I try to keep it as uh, simple as I can for you. Um, but if you do found it, find it useful, then do hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video.